In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Kobe Paris and how he scores so easily in basketball and how you can also score easily just like him. Let's get down, let's check out some of his dunks, and let's check out how he plays basketball. So of course, one of the things that he is really well known for is his ability to dunk on pretty much anybody, as we can see right here. Okay, so one thing that he does really well is moving off ball. The ball is currently in the high post. His defender is way down on the elbow, and that is when this player decides to look at Kobe Paris. His main defender then starts to take a step out to try and disrupt that pass, but instead Kobe Paris is very smart. He sees that defender trying to step out, and while that player is stepping out, his momentum is taking him in towards that direction. Kobe Paris is very, very smart, and he goes and attacks back. Back the opposite direction gets that bounce pass and goes up for a very easy layup and one this is a nice pass but always make sure to try and move off ball so you can get into situations like this and you'll do really well something else that he does extremely well is off of screens he knows how to read his defenders so what I mean by that is we have a screen on this side he now does a quick killer style crossover it's not a very wide crossover it's more of a jab cross really where he jabs in towards this direction and then crosses over the ball towards his left hand why this is important is because his main defender is trying to force him this way and we can see that by his feet and then we have a screen setting on this side because of that, it allows him to now change directions, which will leave his defender way behind him. And he's able to finish with his ability to jump very high and his very soft touch off the backboard. He's able to do this. Remember how what I always say, from corner to corner, that is where you want to hit it. And that's where he hit it. And that's why he made that basket. Now we see this once again. He's standing straight up. He's basically looking like he's out of the play. His defender is down on his heels. He knows that... Kobe Paris isn't doing anything right now, so why defend him? Well, Kobe Paris then does a quick, very big negative step, which is very important. If you're looking to be able to be quick off your first step, this is what you want to do. And then, that makes that defender think that he's going to be cutting out this way. Defender tries to defend it, and where in reality he cuts back door. This is exactly how you cut back door, and you're able to get easy baskets by doing that. Moving off ball is very important. So here we have what looks to be a center trying to stop Kobe Paris from attacking the rim. Now, Kobe Paris, in most cases, you're going to see most players trying to go up with their left hand, but Kobe Paris is a very powerful player. And if you are also a very powerful player like Kobe Paris, you can just basically take the ball right into that player's body, go straight up with your right arm, knock that player senseless, and guess what? That could have been an and one if they called that foul. I also like how he will set up in a corner, let his defender come down and play help defense so that his teammates can pass him out the ball. He has a very nice looking shot elbow in line with the shoulder and ball in line making that shooting triangle what I always talk about. I've broken down his video and or his shot in other videos so make sure to go check that out. Very nice looking shot and will always make those threes. He's a very good shooter and very powerful player. Now if you find yourself on a fast break. Well, guess what? If you have a defender coming towards you and you are heading forwards and they're heading this way, guess what? If you can do a quick crossover into the opposite direction as to where they are running, you will be a very successful fast break player because that is a very simple move that can get you very easy points off the fast break. By the way, great defense. Did I mention he's a very good defender? Now coming down on a two-on-one situation, if you get that pass somewhere around 15 feet out, whether it be the free throw line or 15 feet out going towards the corners, you need to grab that ball, do a quick two-footed jump. The reason for this is if you're going two-on-one, this guy's going to try and block your shot. If you can, do a quick hop step, bang, left foot, hop on two, make sure to go try to go right and left if you can, and then go up for your dunk in this case, but this is a very good play. So first off, he catches on his left, he technically catches in the air, he can go one, two, that's what he does here. He plants his right foot, heel toe, then he goes up onto the side of his foot, which is roughly his, his toes. You can see it roll over to his toes, he's able to then use that ball as leverage, use that 
hands from the hips up to over top of his head as leverage to get up and he's able to power it down huge. He is a very good dunker. And this is what I mean. Heel toe up onto your toes and then absolutely smash that rim. Now this is what I mean by somebody who has a lot of power. So dribbles on his last step. That's gather. Now quick euro one two around that help side defender and absolutely smash it that is a high level move i think he would do really well in the nba but if you can be a power player do a quick euro step like that where you're going right foot to right foot left bang oh my god you would be the number one high school player and if you were in college university even pros you would be a very good basketball player of how Kobe Paris plays because of his power that he has. If you can develop power like him and have a killer knockdown three-point shot, I think you would be a very good player at any level of basketball. Hit that like button, subscribe, make sure you go check out all of the equipment that I use down in the description below, and I'll see you guys again next time.